and pray to the Lord and listen to the Lord and don't run from the truth. Run to it. In these days, you will not make it running from God. You need to run into the arms of Jesus Christ, I'm telling you. There is no one else will, that will be able to save you as America and the world is judged right now, beginning in 2012, in a measure that is beyond imagination. You better run into the arms of Jesus Christ. There is only one Savior. I hope this message drives you into the arms of Jesus like you've never run into his arms before. But he's, he's telling me, I need to start off with Scripture because we are going to deal tonight with uh, Scripture whores and word wizards. That's what the Lord called many of the false ministers that have infiltrated the Christian church, the teachers. They are Scripture whores and word wizards and they are full of knowledge. But the most dangerous thing I've seen worldwide in the Christian church for many years, the most dangerous sin in the form of pride is knowledge pride. And when a minister goes to Bible college, they get a doctorate or a degree. If they don't remain humble, they begin to think, well, look what I've got. And I, I, I'm a teacher now and I... And uh, I, I will put everyone right. And um, the Lord uh, reminded me once, and uh, he called people who always go, going around uh, trying to fix other people, he called them plank doctors. Do you, do you know what a plank doctor is? And Jesus said, well, you better, you, you better look at the... Before you look at the speck in your brother's eye you better look at the plank in your own eye. And that's what wise men and women, women do. Let me ask you this. Uh, say we've got a plank this width in front of our eye. Uh, what can you discern with a plank? Ah, okay. That's, that's how many people who always blame others for things. They're always blaming somebody for something. They've got this plank and they can't see or hear God. They can hear the devil, but they can't hear and see God. So you better examine your heart if you're blaming anybody for any problem in your life. Because every Christian has a choice. We've all got a free will and a free choice. God's never taken that away. Either we obey God's word or we disobey God's word. But if you're blaming any person for the problems in your life right now, the devil's got you because you how can you how can you be focused on Jesus? Please tell me. And that's this is not a time for Christians to have anything blocking their eyes, blocking their ears, blocking their heart. We must unblock. Uh, we must not carry an offense. Offense has destroyed more Christians than anything else. And the devil has sent false apostles, prophets, teachers to offend the body of Christ. And the, the smiling assassins come. And they befriend you. And then they offend you. And then you don't trust. The problem is, when you don't forgive, you don't trust God either. You may say it out of your mouth, but if you operate in unforgiveness and offense, you, you don't trust anybody, including God. And as I shared at the last meeting, this most important question, I'll say it again tonight, does God trust you? Well, prove it. How does God trust you? 
Is our heart really that right with God that he can trust us? Or if does God trust us, do we trust him? Because that's your lifeline in these last days when all hell breaks loose in America and in Austin, Texas. Trust will be your lifeline. No trust, forget it. The devil, if the devil's cut your rope of trust, the very rope that Jesus has thrown to rescue and pull you away from trouble, how are you going to save yourself? Please tell me. No one will be able to save themselves in these days. No one. No matter what wealth you've got. So, let's touch into sorcery here with a few sorcery scriptures. Exodus 22, 18. Extremely graphic scripture. It says, you shall not permit a sorceress to live. That's pretty heavy duty. In the Old Testament. That's how serious it was when God saw a sorcerer come among his people to destroy them. He said, don't even allow that person to live. Because if they do live and live among you, they will destroy you. And I've seen sorcerers and uh, uh, wizards and uh, in all kinds of forms coming into the Christian church. The New Age sorcerers and the Masonic, the Mason sorcerers. And they are experts at fleecing the sheep. Total experts. I've watched them in the business arena. If Masons want to make money, they, they come into the Christian church as an apostle or a prophet or as a pastor or a minister or someone very high in a high position in the political realm. And they will come with a proposal of an investment company. I can think of one very, 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 very famous politician from this state who set up a silver and gold mining company and he successfully, a Freemason, pretending to be a Christian, he fleeced the sheep worldwide. Billions of dollars. He took pensions and everything and he used the pastors because they all believed he was a good Christian. And he set up a silver and gold mining company and saying, you will make millions back in this. It's, it, it, nothing can go wrong. 